Hello, in this video we shall be looking at the new Fiat Ducato cockpit. I've got with me Sven, and Sven, what can you tell us about this new look Ducato? So, first of all, I have to apologize. I'm not English. I'm German. I try to do my best with my uh, very bad English, so... It's excellent nice. English. <laughs> uh, so, well, i like to introduce you to some new features the, in the cockpit of our new Ducato Series 8. Model year 2022. Um, the first thing, let's talk about the new steering wheel, which is, which became smaller now, which more like a passenger car steering wheel. Very nice. The control buttons now uh, switched to the inside and not like they were before. It's more like a passenger car, as you see. Uh, very more comfortable. Tempo mat, cruise control. Now uh, serial, op no option anymore. It's serial. We have a new climatic control here totally renewed all the, the buttons the system at, at its uh, at its own we have so how can we start with the other, other things we have here in this car an heatable front screen which we can put on here we have very good stuff an inductive charging function for smartphones we have, unfortunately, I cannot show you, you know, the actual problems with the delivery of uh, raw materials. We should have a digital rear mirror, which uh, substitutes the original, the normal mirror. So we have a camera in the backside, which reflects in a very high quality in the back of your car. And that will be very useful. That will be very, very useful. We have also, unfortunately, not visible here, an a battery brake system so we can switch off the battery when the car stays longer in your garage for example that'd be fantastic for particularly for motorhomes this is really good yeah we have on the left you can see the new electric hand brake oh I can't see it where's the electric hand brake <laughs> yeah. you can see your finger yeah <laughs> here it is and I think what is what you can what you see what we've seen first and what is really a good stuff is here the full digital display yeah with also new functions already to see is we have now a at blue um, control system which shows you how ma how much is the percentage of the at blue mm -hmm. um, the same for the oil, we have no oil stick anymore in the mm -hmm. front, you can see it all digital here. And last but not least, we have new displays. Here in this car you see the 7 inch display, but we have a fully new also 10 inch display, which is quite comfortable because it's really big. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's say this is the main stuff from the inside, the other, let's say the other uh, very new features are a lot of new assistance safety components which will come in the new Series 8 Ducato. Well, it certainly does, it stands out. I mean, it does look to me to be rather automotive, to use the word yeah. often used by Mercedes and uh, other companies in Germany yeah, yeah. So when they're trying to copy cars. So um, is, is it important to have a vehicle like the Ducato um, effectively a delivery van is it important for it to look like a car yeah yeah it becomes more and more important you know the importance of the camper business um, let's say the whole the the the, the atmosphere is, is more passenger car like the whole haptic here the plastic is really now in high quality let's say you feel you feel more you feel like I wouldn't say like in a, a living room but you feel better in this in this car yeah. much more better than in series 7 and series 6 yeah, certainly there is something about when uh, high-end designers they wanted the front of the car, the front of the vehicle, to look as though it matched the habitation area, and uh, certainly you can sort of get the opinion that it's be, it's coming into vehicles like Ducato, uh, uh, which isn't so uh, sorry. Having 60,000 euros in your back pocket is a lot of money, yeah, yeah. but uh, for should we say the cheaper vehicles. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> At. But we are quite happy to have it now. We have it here and uh, it, I think it will make it, it, we will have a lot of success with this car because it's really, really good.
Mm. No, it, it, cer it certainly looks nice. I like the new logo. Usually I don't like new logos, but I do like the, the new logo here. Yeah. It's going back to former times at the same time as being modern and future looking, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So that's great. Now, what about, we've got the automatic gear box here and more and more people want automatic. Yeah, 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 for sure. And uh, they're actually right because the new, the now nine, uh, nine gear automatic shift we have it uh, we had it already in series 7 and we still have it it's really a, a big deal it's really very good and it will also it will it will be also be perfect with our totally new engines which have been which have been redesigned especially for the series 8 we still have the possibility we have the the four ranges 120 140 160 180 horsepower mm -hmm. automatic uh, beginning from 140 on mm -hmm. and yeah Totally new engines, which weigh less, which consume less, which are really, really, really good. Produced in Italy, yeah, we expect a lot with this new car. <laughs> That's great. So, thanks very much. I shall be showing more of it in future videos when converters start to use it more.